Well, for the past couple of weeks, we have been talking about cosmetic procedures that can be done to reduce wrinkles. And this week, we're talking about treatment for sunspots. I've always had freckles, and as I age, they get a little bit bigger, a little darker, and a little more difficult to cover up on air with the makeup. So we've been talking to Dr. Holly Gunn, a board-certified dermatologist from Lancaster Skin Center. And you told me a little bit about a treatment option that's out there for the sunspots, and it's in the form of a laser treatment. Would tell us, tell viewers exactly what we did with that. Well, we're using light energy, mm -hmm. uh, and this light is attracted to anything that's brown or anything that's red. So any sunspots are on the face, or any of those like little blood vessels around the nose that are so common in sun damaged skin. And honestly, sun damaged skin at this point in time, because we used to, almost everyone that I see used to be bad when they were in their their teenage years. Almost all of us, when we hit our twenty, like in the late twenties, end of thirties, have a lot of sun damaged skin, have a lot of sunspots are developing sunspots and those little blood vessels like around and on the cheeks and around the nose. So this helps eradicate them. It really just turns them into ash and then the body over about two weeks absorbs that ash. Yeah, and I, I'll tell you, this is video of me getting this done. And this is something for rosacea. It's, mm -hmm. It is for any type of skin discoloration, that's right? Exactly, yeah. anything that's brown or red, it's attracted to. So that's why um, this actually is a good time to do it. When your tan is fading, like if you got a tan over the summer or if your olive skin skin tone, you really want to do this in the winter because the treatment can be more effective because if you can turn the settings up higher and the and the fairer you are, the higher you can put the settings and the better results that you can get. Yeah, and I know we had talked about this. I had, you know, I was a little more comfortable with this. We had talked about the injections that we, mm -hmm. that I tried with you and, and after talking with you, I was very comfortable with that, but this is no injection. This is the laser treatment and it's that light. It feels like a rubber band kind of snapping on your skin. It's a little uh, uncomfortable, but it's not painful by any means and it's pretty quick. Yeah and of the non-invasive procedures that I do yeah. this is probably one of the most rewardings and extremely non-invasive. It takes me about five minutes. I always have people come in about 30 minutes early to get some numbing cream just to take the edge off of the hot rubber band. Most people it doesn't bother. I have had a couple of people that are like wow yeah I'm really glad I had the numbing medicine. <laughs> yeah. I am, I'm that way too. Again I, I hate pain. I don't yeah. like to do anything and um, but this is one of those treatments that really can I mean if you're um, if you're troubled by some of your sunspots, it really can help you boost your self-confidence by getting rid of them. I know when I started getting some um, on my cheeks, my even my husband mentioned it, and I really am, like I'm not a vain person, I don't care if I look better than the next person sitting beside me, but I want my husband to look at me and mm -hmm. think that I look young and beautiful, oh, and okay. I thank him for telling me that every day. <laughs> oh, well, that's good stuff, and you know, we are taking some before and afters, because mm -hmm. we did that, we've been doing that with all of these. This is one that I think I really noticed, because I, I I really have always felt like I had to put a little bit of makeup on my face when I would go out of the house just because I had such uneven coloration on my face and I feel like I don't need as much makeup yeah, if Yeah, and we if both any, have kids, we're both, and we both work. It's too hard to put up a, a, a lot of makeup <laughs> yeah. on in the morning. Um, and so this makes it certainly a lot easier to just grab some mascara and, and go. That's exactly, right. um, I actually, I don't have foundation on today. I never, I, I, I've never, like even in high school, I'd never like to wear makeup. Yeah. So, and I, I don't like foundation and this really can make your mornings a lot easier of getting out the door. Just, I, I really, I honestly, I grab mascara and I go most of the time. I probably put a little bit more when I'm coming on to Fox. But <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> but so. But most yeah, of the time I'm day, really but... just, okay, here's yeah. a little mascara, and I'm out the door, back well, to work. <laughs> well, the, it, it's definitely, it definitely evened everything out, and do appreciate you stopping in. I, I have a link to all of these treatments on our website, fox43.com. I've posted these before and afters if you'd want to take a look at those again uh, there. But thanks so much for joining yeah. us. We're going to head now to a break. It is 7.50, taking a live look over the Susquehanna River on your chilly morning.